Hey there everyone, it's Matt, and today I'm going to be reviewing Entune. Right now I'm in a 2012 Corolla S, and as you can see we have the screen there. So let's get started. Start the car. Some nice AC will come out because it's pretty warm and that's good right now. So what we have to do, let the car start, and we'll be having to connect the phone, Droid X right here, my Droid X, to the car so you can have web access to, for example, Bing, Pandora Radio, iHeartRadio, MovieTickets.com, OpenTable, and Bing for search. So all of these things are going to be useful. They're going to help you navigate. They're going to help you make decisions faster when you're on the go. But you will need a data connection and a phone that's Bluetooth enabled. So make sure you have a healthy data plan to let you use all of these features. Right now we're showing the map, which can be accessed without data. You don't have to have anything for it. But let's go to apps. These are the apps that we have or that we can use on Entune. We have Map, you can use anywhere, Bing, Weather, Pandora, Sports Score, Stock, Fuel Prices, Traffic, and some things are blacked out, I'm not sure why, but Pictures, Calendar, and Emails. But let's set this up. First we have to turn the phone on to Bluetooth. You can see that little indication. Entune service is listening. It's going to hook it up. By the way, I reg registered this phone. You have to have this, the uh, phone registered. You have to have the vehicle's VIN number. And you have to type in an email address and get all logged up on Toyota, toyota.com slash Entune. So we're going to go here. And I believe it is hooked up right now because we have the Bluetooth connection. So let's try. Let's try Bing. And it does give you that warning that it does use data. So we established connection. You can see the phone's also connected here. And now we're using the data coming out of my Droid X. So let's search for something. Um, let's see. I'm pretty hungry right now. So let's see. Let's search food and see what comes up. And there we go. We have a little map. That triangle is where we are, and all these numbers are the restaurants around us. So it's very easy to find something that you need, like food. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go to Anita's, maybe. Owner or Bombay? Bombay Tandoor. That would be really good. Alright, so let's back up a little bit, and let's show another app off. Um, I've tried Pandora. Pandora does not connect unless I have my Pandora account linked up, which for some reason is not working for me because I haven't used Pandora in years. But uh, something else we can try, weather. So it's going to find out the weather around us right now. Reading current conditions. And of course this may take a little while depending on your data connection, but here we go. Forecast is sunny with a few clouds and breezy, temperature of 65 degrees, humidity 36. And we can see our forecast. Things are looking good until Sunday, and it starts to rain, so that's going to be pretty ugly. And let's see what things look like around us. You can see it's blue skies everywhere except for a few clouds, so let's see if that's going to stay true to what we see on here. Pretty good rendering. I'd like there to be more more pixels, but as you can see, things are pretty clear except for those blue markings, which are little clouds or rivers. But basically, there's nothing around us. We're fine. So let's go back to apps. We can check sports scores. What's your favorite team? Mine would be the Lakers. I'm really uh, tonight is Game Six, Lakers at Nuggets. Lakers at Nuggets. Hopefully it'll close out the series against them. But we can figure all that out. For example, let's go to NBA and see if it tells us anything about the uh, elimination games tonight. 
Yep, Chicago Bulls, 76ers, Hawks, Celtics, and there are my Lakers and Nuggets, always at 10.30, so I'm always going to have to stay up until 1 or 2, just to watch the TNT uh, commentary after. I love Charles Barkley and Shaq, funniest people out there. So that's good. We can check everything you want. Let's go to stocks, if you are financially curious. See a lot of useful information at your fingertips, and it gives you a bigger screen than your phone would possibly have on here. So as you can see, I don't know what these uh, what these are, but you can see some have gone up, some have gone down. You can search certain stocks. I was going to type in Facebook, but they haven't gone public yet, I don't believe. So let's go back here, and right now it's not showing movie tickets, open table, or any of that but they will be on here. Um, they say the more apps will be coming to all the cars. I believe all of them are currently available in the Prius, but they'll be coming here soon enough. So let's check out fuel prices around here because this car does get good for gas mileage. 26 city, 34 highway, 29 combined. And we can see that, let's see, Gulf has the best gas and it's about 1.32 miles away. So really close. Gas prices have actually gone down. It used to be four bucks about a week ago. And you can check for specific grade, distance, and price, or company brand. So let's go back once more, and I believe there's one more. Traffic. I live in Centerville, Virginia, and I have to go all the way out here to Vienna, or Tyson's Corner, so I have to hit a lot of traffic. So what I really care about is what best routes are gonna take me to my work or home the fastest, because I don't like seeing traffic anymore anyone else does. So we can check the traffic and we can see what is going to go on today. It shows you all um, see warning indications, you know, things of slow traffic and all that on here. It goes specifically to warnings, no entry, so no crashes, no anything on there. And I have no route, so nothing's going to be shown on there unless you put something in navigation. But let's see. Oh, there's the uh, gas price again. So that's pretty much everything you have here on the Corolla S. It's a good integration. Remember, it does chart. I mean, does take your data plan and push it through here, and you do have to have Bluetooth. But if you have all that, it's a really good feature to have. I like to have something in the center console of my car, moreover than my phone. My phone, I'd be going like this, one hand driving with the other, and it's pretty dangerous. I just feel this is more solid. You can put more pressure on it. You're, you can look both at the road and here, or you can have whoever sitting next to you help you out. And more than likely than not, there are some safety things where you're, you cannot access certain things at a certain time. But it's good. One thing I forgot to mention, Bing also works with voice activation, which is right here, and you can, you can talk to it. So more hands-free, the better. Okay, this has been Matt. I've been I've been reviewing the new Entune system for Toyota. I'm in a 2012 Corolla S. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. Subscribe, watch my videos on here. The more watches I get, the more videos I'll put up put up. And find me on Facebook or Twitter. Hope I'm doing a good job. Alright, so this has been Matt, and I'll see you soon. Hey there everyone, it's Matt back for a little bit more on this video. I decided to add the feature on your phone. You do have your Entune application, so you can work with Bing, Pandora, everything. You can look up things. For example, you want to look up food, it's in my history, and you can save whatever location that you find on here, let's say this Thai restaurant, save it, and when you connect your phone back on to your center console here, you can pull up that address and you can navigate directly to it. It's really good if you do not want to remove your hands from the wheel at all. You can have your passenger do it. It's just another good thing that allows your phone to integrate with this. Just a little bit more than having the data connection connect up there for it. So that's it. I swear now. This has been Matt, reviewing Entune.